Hello and good afternoon everyone. Adam here at Kenyon Classic Cars in Clarence, Iowa. This afternoon I'm going to be showing you this beautiful 1965 Dodge Coronet 440. Now this car is equipped with a 383 cubic inch engine under the hood. It has a 727 torque flight automatic transmission in it. This car was a rotisserie restored car. It is super clean inside and outside as well as underneath the car and underneath the hood. This car is in beautiful shape. The paint and body on this car is very, very nice. It's got that functional scooped hood on it. All the chrome and brake work on this car is in good shape. Looks like it has a new front and rear bumper on this car. It's got a set of American Racing Torque Thrust wheels, a gunmetal gray with the aluminum lip. The glass in the car is in good shape. It has a couple little scratches deep down in the, in the glass. I don't know about deep down, but on top of the glass, you can see it just barely. But I like to be honest with you and show you everything about these cars. Maroon paint with a gray top. Like I say, the paint on this car is in very, very good condition. Got a couple Boss 6x9s in the back uh, window area there. I drove this car over the weekend. This car came, this car came out of Kentucky. Runs and drives very, very well. I probably put about 50 miles on this car. Goes down the interstate, 65, 70 mile an hour, no problems. Very solid car. Your door gaps are very nice on this car. You can see how nice and straight and clean the paint is on this car. Uh, uh, there's a few little imperfections in the paint. Maybe a few little dirt nibs here and there. Um, you know, this is this car is going to be priced in the high 30s. It's not a fifty, sixty thousand dollar car. Uh, not, not taking anything away from the car. There's underneath the hood. It's all painted body color. Looks great. Aluminum intake. Holly carburetor. Mickey Thompson valve covers. Engine's all painted up really, really nice. Just like the rest of the car. Set of long two headers on it. Power steering, it's got manual brakes, drum brakes in the front. The car stops wonderful. No problem with the braking of the car. Same way with this side, your door gaps are in good con good shape, good condition. Um, good shape, the lines are really, really nice on the car. Interior is very, very nice as well. It's been done. Um, Very tastefully done, I should say. There, um, there's your door jams. You can see all the factory seams on your doors. Bottom of the doors are in good shape. Here's your jam on this side. Sill plates are all brand new. There's your jams right there. Door panels match the seats front and back. The headliner is brand new as well. Sun visors are in good shape. Seats are very comfortable. The carpet's in very good condition. Um, the speedometer does work on this car. Jumps around just a little bit. Um, it's pretty close to being accurate. When it stands still, it's maybe three, four mile an hour off. Um, the lights work on the car, the headlights, the taillights. Um, we had to replace the backup switch on this car. The backup switch was bad. Uh, also, on this car, I, I opened the glove box, and wouldn't you know, the first time I opened it, the springs went flying on the glove box latch, so I'm in the process of ordering a new glove box latch for this car. The heater works, radio works, the tachometer works. Um, just a very, very, very impressive car. I'm going to price this car 
I do believe at 37.9, 38.9, somewhere in that area. It's under 40, um, which is a great, great price for this car. The windows all go up and down like they're supposed to. Interior, like I say, is gorgeous in the car. Very tasteful. The door seals and the rubbers around the windows are all new. There's your window going up and down. This car is a two-door hardtop, as you can see. Now I got some water in the window from, I did wash this car earlier today. Just a very, very pretty Coronet. Has the right stance, the right wheels. It does have air shocks on this car as well. Um, and the, you air them up right here underneath the license plate bracket right there. I did have me and uh, three other people in the car driving down the road. And when you hit a bump, it does, if you don't have them air in the air shocks, it does rub them tires a little bit. So you need to make sure you put air in those air shocks. There's that bottle of tea I was looking for. Finally found that sucker. See, I told you I drove this car. I had that, that inside this car and I couldn't figure out where it went. I knew I bought one at this gas station when I stopped. All right, we'll fire this car up so you can hear it run. Whoever gets this car is gonna get a, a really good car and I'm sure you're gonna have a lot of fun with it. There's your oil pressure gauge. They mounted it right there. That's, that's real tasteful too. Um, Cause it didn't have a factory oil pressure gauge. It had an idiot light. Wipers work. Radio works. You're not gonna tune anything in in here, I doubt. Barely. Left turn, right turn. Right turn signal. Great sound in old Coronet. Engine runs very strong. Headlights all work. That uh, right turn signal is not flashing up front. I'll have to take a look at that. That will be checked out. No problem, guys. Uh, the car does have a MSD style distributor in it. Plug wires and coil all look new. Everything underneath the hood is new. The gentleman that built this car um, told us that this car might have a thousand miles on it since completion. So it's pretty fresh build. I think he said it was done, completed in 2020. Just a great car, a very, very pretty car. Um, you're looking for a Dodge Coronet 440. This is a great car for you. Hard to find these cars, really is. I try to buy them when I find them because they seem to be pretty popular. But Here it is, everybody. 1965 Dodge Cornette. Kenyon Classic Cars, Clarence, Iowa. 563-452-2450. KenyonAuto.com. K-I-N-I-O-N Auto.com. Check us out. Follow us on our... Uh, YouTube channel, Kenyon Classics, to get all the updates on all the classic cars that we get in and out of here. We have 75 to 100 collector cars in stock at all times. Um, you may not see every car on our website, 
but give us a call if we, you don't see something that you are looking for. We might have one. We're also interested in buying your classic car. If you got one to sell, give us a call. Again, 563-452-2450. I really appreciate you watching our videos. I hope you have an excellent afternoon. Until next time.